about to get some game stalking caught on camera for you this evening. We're looking for synchronized obstruction of movement, synchronized space crowding, and abundance of public service vehicles, and other general obstructive gang stalking activity. I'm going to make my way south on US-1. Let's go. A lot of my gang stalking is being caused by two bit bounty hunters, male enforcers, and private security firms. And that includes private investigators. A lot of the gang stalking mechanisms. Particularly street level gang stalking and neighborhood gang stalking are caused by the above named entities. Why? Because they work in conjunction with town sheriff's departments who have more of a hand in gang stalking than local police departments. Sheriff's departments are paramilitary in structure. Police officers are peace officers. They're moderators. They're patrolmen and so forth. Sheriff's deputies are the action seekers. They're the ones that go after the more dangerous calls. And they're the ones that have the responsibility of catching fugitives, catching people who skip uh, out on bail. For example, they get arrested for something post bail and never go back to court. What happens in those cases is an arrest warrant is issued by the court and bail enforcers, which are officers that work with sheriff's departments, private security offices, and bounty hunters to track guys down. And what they do is they track guys down, they arrest them, and take them to jail. At that point, bail is revoked, and they have to sit in jail until the sentencing. For whatever it is they did. Or didn't do. Um, I've got bail enforcers on my tail because... I actually posted bail back in late September, I think it was September 28th of 18, for an egregious crime that I was charged with falsely by the Broward Sheriff's Office, namely a Detective Demos Sherudis. I spoke about Deputy Wellington in last night's video. But he wasn't the one that charged me. It was a sheriff's detective that charged me with unarmed robbery for allegedly stealing iPhones from somebody. But as I've said in previous videos, I have evidence to the contrary. I've sent it in to the judge. I've sent it in to the court. You go to the Broward County Courts Municipal website. You'll see the evidence that I submitted in my own defense. Furthermore, a lot of what's being said about me and about what happened that night is false. Furthermore, I have no criminal record, and 
That plays into it because what kind of detective goes out of his way? The case is almost a year old now. To try and hand a 34-year-old man who holds a degree and is looking to complete his bachelor's with his first crime. Maybe he got tired of convicting the same criminals over and over again. Maybe he got tired of working with people that had rap sheets. Maybe it's more fun and exciting for him to go after somebody who has no convictions. Anyhow, I'm not a police officer. So I don't know how they think. All I could do is speculate. And bail enforcers oftentimes track men who have posted bail. Select men. They obviously can't track every inmate that posts bail. I don't know why I'd be tracked. I've already attended seven, uh, actually more than that, eight uh, calendar calls on time, was there, showed up, et cetera, et cetera. Hopefully the number of calendar calls is indicative of this case being in the final phases of being dismissed. due to lack of evidence and due to evidence that I've submitted to the court. So anyhow, I digress. These bail enforcers are deeply rooted in the gang stalking mechanism. Private security firms, PIs, private investigators, bounty hunters, bail enforcers, sheriff's departments, the Department of Homeland Security, they're all deeply rooted in the gang stalking mechanism. Car dealerships would have to be involved as well, to some degree. There has to be some sort of a road security force That is somehow facilitated by car dealerships because the cars that are on the road, when a TI is out and about, move in synchronized patterns. And where all these cars come from is tough to say. I'd like to point your attention to something that you're going to see a lot of pedestrians doing throughout this gang stalking campaign and then I'm going to get back to my main point you're going to see a lot of pedestrians wipe their eyes dig up their nose wipe the sides of their mouth grab their feet scratch their rear ends cough sneeze blow snot burp break wind and do a whole lot of gross disgusting vulgar and repulsive things when the targeted individual is near
It's part of the horrific stimuli that TIs are exposed to on a daily basis. Synchronized space crowding. I decided to take a detour and go through Walmart. Show you how gang stalking works in closed quarters. Shoppers synchronize a targeted individual in a grocery store, similarly to how stalkers in vehicles stalk a TI when he is in the street. Synchronized space crowding, synchronized obstruction of movement. Only this time it's with shopping carts rather than with vehicles. See what I mean? It's synchronized. They move in units in a grocery store the same way the cars move in units on the street all with the intention of obstructing the progress and the physical mo movements of the targeted individual
Hi. Oh. Good, thanks.
Wow. Oh, okay. 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 Okay.